there's a chance that you have been, uh, been doing drugs. If not, then you're the lucky ones. Every year, nearly 200,000 individuals die from drug abuse. Of those, nearly two-thirds of them are children between the stages of adolescence and preteens. Why is this happening? What is the cause of this epidemic? How can we prevent this problem? Before we get into detail, let's talk about how this affects millions worldwide. It's obvious that drug abuse affects an individual's lifestyle, let alone it makes the individual corrupt and obliterated by self-choice. But on a global scale, what is it doing to the world? It's making the world more futile. It's making the youth of the future less incompetent for change, for advancement, or for competition. It's making the youth less capable of attaining a dream job, dream car, or dream occupation. Instead of building a solid foundation for the, for the career of the youth, they are out in Skorla Alley smoking marijuana. More than ever, the chances of a teen, death, teen death from drug abuse have increased. The number of deaths from non-pharmaceutical drugs have doubled, which means there are more drug abusers on the streets. It's time that we stop this problem before it slips into the wrong hands. So, what is the problem? Mainly, when we think of this problem, we think of the abuser's family history. Although the abuser may have a record of a drug abuse, it's not the only influencer to the abuse. Other factors such as peer pressure and the media take a big role in influencing such acts. According to a recent study by Casa Columbia, the National Center of Addiction and Substance Abuse at the University of Columbia, they found that about 86% of people who use social media know someone who does drugs. About 50% of the students at the university know someone who sells drugs. With this in mind, you have to understand that it is becoming highly accessible for students to attain these drugs. In result, it is secretly making the youth more vulnerable to drug abuse. But that's not all. Let alone, the music industry is also another contributor to the madness. If popular rappers and songwriters continue to rap about drugs, there will be more of it. Think about it. People in the 19th centuries were likely, less likely to undergo drug abuse. This was due to the inaccessibility of the media, thus making the, for less communication. So, what is the solution? To this state, the best solution at tackling this problem is to implement drug tests on middle schoolers. Although middle schoolers may not need attention in this area, it's always a good prevention mechanism. With that being said, drug tests will be mandatory for athletes and high schoolers in high school, but it will be optional for some middle schoolers. In fact, some schools across the United States have taken this policy into consideration. They have made it mandatory for middle school students. Over the course of a decade, subsequently after the launch of this program, results came out positive that this prevention plan works. According to the Partnership of a Drug-Free New Jersey, the implementation of these drug tests on middle schoolers and high schoolers have succeeded. Among students tested, the risk of drug abuse has dropped from 20% to 6%. But hey, that it's only 14%. How does that change anything? That could be the meaning of 30,000 lives saved or lost every year, according to a study. All of this, it's only a small difference now. It will slowly make a big change for the better. Now, why is this all important? If you don't think deaths from accidental or irresistible drug abuse is not important, then I don't know where have you been. Over the course of the years, initially from 2000 to present, drug abuse deaths have increased. More teens are dying. More are dying from things of adults in their, old, in their old days. We are influencing more negatives than positives. Drug tests on the youth is beneficial because it allows for better prevention plans. And in the ever-growing dangered world, there are many ways for the youth to be involved in risky situations. From smoking marijuana behind the alleys to selling them in school, drugs are a social, moral, and mental strain. That is why drug tests should be conducted. Think about it. If you, pre if you prevent drug abuse now, there, what will our future hold? W will this make for a, a world without crime? Or will this make for a better society? A society with less abusive uh, behavior, of course. If you don't think about the futuristic lives of the youth now, the f their futures may not even exist. Even though this act to prevent, protect mankind will take a blow in freedom and righteousness among individuals, it will still continue to save the lives of millions to come. Thank you.